Today, I'm gonna to empower you by showing you how to sprout your own seeds. It's simple and super nutritious, requires few resources, is cost effective, and aligns with sustainability practices. Not only are sprouts packed with nutrients like vitamins, minerals, enzymes, they're great for the immune system and digestion. They add to the texture and flavor of so many dishes. Here's what you need. 32 ounce mason jars with lids that make it easy for breathing and simple for rinsing each and every day while you're sprouting. Filtered water. As an option, you can use two cups or bowls for draining. I don't use either. I'll show you why as you go along. Start by adding your seeds of choice to the 32 ounce mason jars. Fill each mason jar up about halfway full with filtered water. And then I swish each one of them, I dump out the water, and I fill it again. I put these sleeves in my jars just to ensure they're in a dark environment. After you've covered them, put your jars in a dry, dark place overnight for 10 to 12 hours. By the way, if you don't have a sleeve and you're worried about it not being dark enough, go ahead and put it in a cabinet. When I do that, I usually put like a towel or something so it doesn't close all the way. I don't know, I just like to have air get to it. After this first round, I'll pour out the water and then pour in additional water, swish it around and pour it out. For the second round and all the preceding rounds, you're not gonna let it soak. I'm gonna have them airing out. So I'll put them upside down at like a 45 degree angle. That way the excess water comes out so the seeds don't rot. This is very important. Day three, I'm gonna dump out the water and refill them with filtered water about halfway full, swish them around, and then pour them out. I like to rinse them twice just for good measure. Make sure they're clean. At the end of the day, I'll pour more filtered water, swish it around, and pour it out. And then before I go to bed, I'll set them out again and then they'll sit all night. Another important tip, each time you set them out, make sure you've shaken it around to make sure the seeds are evenly distributed. You don't want them to clump up. I have to pull down my sleeve to check. You wake up on day four, you'll notice your seeds are really starting to come to life. Keep it up. Rinse in the morning, leave out all day, rinse at night, go to bed, Day five, it's time to take your seeds out of the cabinet, pull the sleeve off, and put them in an area where they're gonna get some light exposure, maybe at a windowsill. You don't want direct light beaming on them all day, but you want the sunlight to really green them up. You're excited, they've really come to life. Your palate is just waiting for the nutritious goodness. It might be ready at this point. Day six, you got these full jars of sprouts real food that started out with just a layer of seeds. It's pretty exciting. You're gonna wanna rinse them out one last time and I pour them out onto a towel and I fold it over to soak up the moisture. You could just use a paper towel if you like. After about 10 to 15 minutes, transfer your sprouts to a sealed jar, put them in the fridge and guess what? Next time you open that fridge, you got a healthy snack to just Grab a handful, pop in your mouth, put them on a salad, a shake, whatever you need to get that nutritious goodness in your gut to enhance your health, your vitality. I can attest to the fact that in addition to being a great ingredient for a veggie burger, they also make a great topping to put on your veggie burger. Don't have a recipe for a veggie burger made from scratch? Click right there and you got one. May this step-by-step -step guide to sprouting your own seeds lead to your enhanced health and your journey towards food sovereignty. Think about it, a year-round food source. Get you to think, what else could we do? Stick around, I'll keep giving you healthy recipes that'll help you have healthy options all year round. Don't forget to subscribe, make a comment, like the video, hit the notification bell, then you can get those other recipes coming your way. I love you.